So if you go to the Tower of London today, you'll see a big grassy ditch around it, but no water in the moat. Why was it drained? So the moat is put in in the time of Edward I, like in the 13th century, and they hire this special Flemish engineer to come and do it. His name is John Le Fosser. John the Digger! John the Digger. Can he dig it? No, he could not. It was really badly designed and all the like filth from the tower and the surrounding area would just sort of collect in it and it never got properly washed out by the river, creating possibly the largest stagnant cesspool in Europe. Very effective for defence, but not very pleasant to live in and certainly not very good for a modern day multi-million pound tourist attraction. <laughs> so it was drained in the 1840s by this guy, the Duke of Wellington. He was actually in charge of the tower for a while. These days it's all well grown over and they have like trebuchet demonstrations in there and they have film premieres there sometimes. I'm, I saw one of the Game of Thrones season premieres there. Uh, this year they're going to plant it with loads of flowers and make like a nice little meadow trail which will be cool. 